come here. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career. And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Knavish sprites to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads travelled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Lemir, how'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Mimir, I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then, I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across, but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus, and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so, a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perks. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie, only clever. And often too clever by half. So what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin, and I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about people and the world, my job became to contain him, to protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well, that's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. No longer trusting my motives, but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Well, I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break, that was.